Steven here, and welcome back to Apache NiFi. This next video is going to be on Prometheus logs and how to create logs from NiFi and get them into Prometheus. And then from there, you can take them to whatever dashboard system you want, platform, whether it's Grafana or some other type. So we're just going to get to Prometheus today. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And for those for those who've been sending emails to me about how else to support the channel, I did uh, include a link on the page now and in the comments of the video for uh, Patreon. Yeah, you can check it out if you want. Don't need to. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this, shall we? So a couple things we need. So inside of Apache DiFi, we have the ability to set up a reporting task for Apache DiFi so that we can report. And then Prometheus can come in and scrape that information. So first thing we want to do is get a Prometheus server set up. And let's go ahead and swap over to my Linux for, there we go. All right, so from here, we can see real quick, let's just check out the config file. So in the directory for Prometheus, I do have a config file set up. And we can see in here that I'm gonna use the Apache Nifi cluster that I created in Docker and we're, the only simple commands we're going to have in here is the global settings for scrape interval of five seconds. And then we have a scrape config set up. And the first job we have in here is called NiFi cluster. And we have some static information, which is the targets, so our servers that we want to scrape from. And these are the 30 servers that we have in the cluster. All right, so that's all we need for that. All you have to do is get it running, and you should be good, and start up your server. And then what you want to do is go ahead and set up Apache NiFi next. So that's what we're going to do. All right, back in NiFi here. So in Apache NiFi, what we want to do is go up here to the menu and take a look at the controller settings. Underneath the controller settings, you'll probably start off in general. Navigate your way over to reporting task. Let's go ahead and add a new one. And from the list, it just happens Prometheus reporting task is on the top here. I'm going to select that one, the usage. We can check out the usage for any questions we have, but basically it reports metrics for Prometheus in Prometheus format by creating metric HTTPS or HTTP endpoint, which can be used for external monitoring. And then it defaults to 9092. You can set up the instance name, how you want that to be configured. The strategy. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these settings. All right, so go in here and look. We're gonna leave the default port at 9092. We're not going to change the instance name in this case because these are all part of a cluster inside of a Docker container. And we do have the reporting diametric reporting strategy. From here, we can decide, do we want to report the root process group, the all process groups, or all components? And they all have a quick little description here. So the root process group sends rollup metrics for the entire root process group. So meaning the main NiFi flow canvas. And then you have the set metrics for each process group. So that should be the rollup for the, each process group. And then you have one for each component. So it really depends on what you want to monitor, how much you want, how much data you want to take in and scrape out of here. Uh, so I'm going to just start with the all components so we can take a look at that. And we'll set up a quick little example here. We'll leave that one there. We're not going to use authentication for this. Go ahead and apply. And then we need to go ahead and start this up. So we hit start. And we can see now it's running. So now NiFi has opened up the port and it's broadcasting so that we can scrape from here. And the way we set up uh, the config file for Prometheus for the target was it would scrape every five seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look at Prometheus real quick in the other tab here. So if you haven't been in Prometheus before or set one up before, here's your user interface for Prometheus. And the first thing you wanna do is go over here to status. And down the list here we have targets. We want to check our targets, and what we should see is exactly what we do see here. We have our endpoint IPs. It's pointing to the path metrics, which is the default one. And then we see that we have labels here set up for instance, and then for the job. And then we have the start or the state condition. So all of them are up, and we can see the last scrape was uh, 30 seconds, one second, and 319 milliseconds ago for this one. 
So we can see if there's any errors as well. So a server goes down or something, or we lose a server, we will be able to see that. We can go ahead and refresh it real quick. We can see the information change. So we do have that set up as well now. Go, go over here back to graphing. And then from the graph section, well, first of all, let's get some data, make sure we have some test data. So we're gonna create a new process group. I've already got the process group laid out called Prometheus Log. We're gonna go inside of there. And from here, we need to go ahead and quick, create a quick uh, test group. And we're just gonna throw in a generate flow file. And then from here, let's go ahead and route it directly into a route on attribute. And we're just going to terminate it going into this one. So this will be a nice little short one. We can get some ideas how, how it's running. And all we need to do here is tell it to terminate all the unmatched. So that's this is working now. And then we have generate flow file. We'll give it some custom text. This is by custom text. And we'll leave that alone. We're gonna run one every second here. We should be able to create quite a bit. There we go, it's already spitting out a lot. And a lot, now we have it working. And then it's just shooting through here. We can see we have the five minute interval uh, output for the processor, so we can get a quick little update on how these are doing. But what if we want to take a look at long term or be able to monitor our NiFi cluster long term as well? So let's go ahead and go back to Prometheus. So let's go ahead and refresh it real quick. And the way this works is we should be able in Prometheus you get a quick little simple interface so you can graph it and stuff. This is really from here I want to take I would want to go to like a Grafana server. Uh, create a connection into my Prometheus server and then set up my charts and stuff there and create a dashboard for my NiFi instance. But from here, we can go ahead and check it out and see what we have. We can see all the metrics that are being collected and scraped by Prometheus. And we can see we have ourselves some uh, NiFi amount bytes read, received, sent, transferred, and then we have written. And then we have the same thing for flow files, items, Threads, so active, terminated. We have average lineage for flow. I'm um, gonna guess that should be for the flow file. That's what lineage is on. Back pressure bytes uh, enabled. We have percentage uh, used bytes and then used count. And then we have content input and total and queued. NiFi total bytes read and written. And then the scrape duration, some uh, basic stuff here. I believe this is all just Prometheus related only. That's why they don't have the die fine from them. And then like up as well. All right, so let's just take a look at a couple here and get a feel for them. So NiFi amounts of bytes transferred. Remember this is in bytes. So when we graph it, it'll be a little interesting. So we're in console right now. So I wanna take a look at the graph itself. And here we go. We're gonna change this to Ooh, the last five minutes because I had some uh, testing going on there that we saw before, so we don't want to ruin that data. And we can see right here, we have a list of all the displayed, or our legend, right, of all the displayed information. Remember, these this should uh, this is in bytes, so it's not converting correctly. Uh, really, this would be where uh, you take it in Prome uh, from Prometheus, you make your connection in Grafana, and then from Grafana you can choose the... Uh, the data type of data you're you're consuming. So whether or not this is a data rate by bytes, you can pick the uh, how you want it to calculate by bytes, gigs, megabytes, whatever. But uh, we can just get an idea and see the data flowing in here, and that it is reporting the information correctly. And look at the couple pieces we have that make up this uh, data. So we can see down here below we see three measurements. So all three of our servers in the cluster all has a reporting task that's shown up. So each, that's why we have all three servers listed as a target, because we want to scrape each one of those individually for the work that they're doing. And this could be very helpful for if you're monitoring your cluster and all of a sudden you see nothing coming in from one of them. Well, you might have something going on there and you can set up works for it. So we can see inside the package that are inside the, uh, the scrape of data for this byte transferred one, Underneath it, we also are inside of it. We also have the component ID. So the actual ID correlates to the ID of the components over here. So we view config, 
we can see the NiFi ID from this processor. So if we want to copy that one out there, we can go back to Prometheus and we can isolate that one. Curly brackets. And then what we want to do actually, we'll just take it from here. That'll be easier. We want to put component ID equals and then the ID that you're looking for. Close, rerun it, and there we go. So as you can see here, we're getting three instances of it. Uh, this may be byte transferred. Yeah, this is a bad example to use one for plotting, but we can at least see the instance of the processor that it's pulled in. Uh, and in here, we can see there's one for, as we scroll over to the right, instance. So each IP for each one of our targets has one, right? So let's go ahead and switch this to something that'll be a little bit more helpful. Let's go ahead and copy this so we don't have to redo it. Clear that. And then let's do, oh, byte sent maybe. And then we'll add that one, filter to it. That's not going to be a good one either. Now let's go ahead and look for our flow files here. So put it on the end. All right, so we can see flow files being made. And they're being transferred around. So from here, we can go up. We can also use this filter inside of, Graf or not Grafana, but inside of Prometheus to isolate a specific one. So you see we have component names in here too. So we have Steam Test one I have in there. We have NiFi Flow, Prometheus Log. Uh, this is a component name because it is a process group. So I could say if I was trying to make a, if I was inside of Grafana, I was trying to make a chart, I could say, well, I want the, I want it to be a process group and filter onto that. So now I only get process groups in my list here. And then from there, I want to also filter on component name. Ooh, I think it's comments of our list. There we go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. And there we go. So now we've filtered and isolated down to the uh, component, the process group for the component name, which is uh, probably this log. So this would basically be my root, right? And if I had more processors in here, and in this case, we're seeing uh, this group only. So we're not seeing all the, all the processors inside of it. We're seeing the entire group. So what activity happens in that group? So this is it. This is how we go ahead and set up a uh, process. We can monitor things. We can see we're peaked right now at a total uh, amount of flow files we're creating just because we peaked over here as well. We could take a look here, stop this, make it reflect uh, more activity by generating stuff that it can't keep up with. We can see it's creating more now. Go back to Prometheus. Oh, it's like every five seconds. So we see the drop in activity. We see drop in activity leveling back out again. And then we could start now. We're peaking here because the queue is going to float. So this one's only have this uh, route on attribute is only handling so many at a time. So we want to increase that. We could batch them quicker and we could get this one to create more now where it can keep up. It is doing a better job now clearing out that queue. So I would expect that we should see more activity over here. We do see start, start seeing a little increase over here. And there we go. And remember, because it's splitting between all of them, uh, we're seeing that right now, one processor is taking on more activity than the other two. Uh, we could change that if we wanted to as well, right? So if we say, uh, stop generating flow files. And then from here, we go ahead and change how this one's routing. The, from the queue, we could go ahead and put it on round robin. Did I get it? Let's reload that real quick. Make sure that gets set. Okay, back to round robin, apply. There we go, we see the round robin indicator. So that we can go ahead and start these two back up now. And now they're flowing again. All right. 
and they are even on yeah, with the delay and everything barely keeping up there they are going they are decreasing its uh total q thousand at a time there now let's go ahead and go back to prometheus execute again we can see the changes that we made made a little dip uh, i would hope that we would start seeing activity where all three of them start to level out together as long as they're getting routed better but that's not the point of this this is all about how to use prometheus to scrape the logs out of your NiFi flow or out of your NiFi instance, whether it's a cluster or an individual NiFi setup, and how to take that data and get that information over there, which can be very helpful for, uh, I use it for tracking everything from active threads being utilized to total flow files moving around back and forth uh, to total data and bytes, how much I'm moving around, and just keeping track of the health of my NiFi instance and having some metrics on it as well so I can keep track of the activity. So this is not where you want to do your final. I wouldn't use Prometheus for my final dashboard because it doesn't do dashboarding. I'd take this information to something like Grafana uh, where I take it for myself. And then you can utilize that in there and build your dashboard to show you the relevant pieces of information that you want to see. All right, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and uh, check out the comments as well. I'll talk to you next time.